FC25 is here and I'm going to start this new cycle with mini-series where we'll try to win the Champions League with Barcelona in just one season. Board expectations are either critical or high and I'm going to deal with that because I'm not going to turn them off. As you can see, we can customize our career mode settings. I'm going to turn off scouting for now. Training plans is going to be on. Difficulty level is legendary for now. No financial takeover. I'm going to let board expectation on strict mode. Only for our first series, just to test how strict are they. In this new game, we have new customization method. And I think this guy looks something similar to me, but I'm not very sure. Anyways, let's see what we have in his first screen. In the right side, we do have our new top about the news it looks good okay on this left side we have review training plans correct tactical preset and review board objectives i'm not going to go there uh, for now i'm going to just check our inbox and here we have again expectation and vision from board i'm not into it Let's start with our squad in team management. Here we can see the squad. Yeah, it is 4 2 3 1. And you can see Petri Yamal is out of position. Of course, a lot of players are injured, like Frankie de Jong, Araujo, Gavi. We are going to change our formation to fit all our best players in. Of course, we are going to choose Tiki Taka as our preferred tactical vision. Yeah, we are going to hire best coaches for now. Well, 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 let's jump to this tactics section. I think everything is changed here. I'm not going to touch this Barca default I'm going to use a new tactic first thing what I'm going to do is to choose the tactical preset it is going to be of course Tiki Taka formation we are going to change the formation to four yes this one four three three attack build up style is going to be short passing of course and the defensive approach we can go with aggressive as Hansi Flick is using this formation right now so you can see our squad the best squad that we can assemble for now Dani Olmo as a center attacking midfielder two center midfielders with Pedri and Deo our fullbacks are Kunde and Palde, Rafinha from left, Yamal from right, Lewandowski up top, Araujo, Christensen and Marc-Andre Deerstegen. This is the best lineup I believe that we can set now. As you know in FC25 with FC IQ, the player roles are replacing instructions. So Marc-Andre Deerstegen will be sweeper keeper, Jules Kunde fullback, stopper for Araujo, Christensen will be our ball playing defender and wingback for Alejandro Balde to go up and down. But Bruh. the problem here with Barcelona is all our midfielders, they are all playmakers. It's embarrassing. Rafinha will be an inside forward from a left. Lamin Yamal is going to be winger from right and false nine for Lewandowski. In this screen, you can see how the team will line up. Balde is way up on the pitch compared to Kunde. Yamal, some kind of hugging the line. And Lewandowski is cooking something with Olmo. I think they are pretty close. We are going to set up our scouting network and try to find the next best player for Barcelona. And I believe the first position that we are going to scout is going to be a defensive midfielder as we are severely lacking in that position. So that's why I'm going to set our scouting mission in Spain for three months. It is a lot different than in FC24. As you can see from this screen, we can choose up to four positions to be scouted. That is absolutely great. But for now, we are going to go with only center defensive midfielder. And also we can choose up to three roles to be scouted in the country. So we are going to choose all these three roles. I mean, yeah, for center half holding and deep line playmaker. The main focus is going to be on interceptions, defensive awareness, send tackle and reactions for holding role. And for deep line playmaker, our scout is going to be focused on the attributes like vision, long pass, short pass and composure, maybe this is the one to find our new Busquets. As I already said, we aren't going to have any transfer until January. As you know, we are broke for now. We are going to jump straight into the, our first game against Valencia. Okay, let's actually feel how FC25 plays. Araujo with a great tackle. Yeah, our ball movement is actually good. All day, with unnecessary skill, of course. Kunde to Lamin Yamal. Our star player Lamin Yamal, let's see what he can do in this game. But it was Valencia who created the first goal scoring chance of the night. Rioja plays with Gregoric, first opportunity for Valencia, shot it got blocked once again and it's one nail. That was a poor defending from our team and we got opened very easily and as you can see here we have a new cutscenes as well. Balde. As you can see, Rafinha is never in his flank because of his role of inside forward. 
And Lewandowski is also getting back for the ball because of the false nine roll, I believe. De Jong with the Trivella plus. Yeah, that was a good shot. Our first shot and it is the first half. Olmo, Rafinha. Oh, great tackle from a Valencia defender. Valencia is looking very solid in the second half. And again, one more save from Ter Stegen. And finally, we managed to create our own big chance in the 77th minute. De Jong to Olmo. Great, great attack and our first goal with De Jong. Great loft ball. And I don't know what Valencia's goalkeeper were doing there. Let's do our first changes. Pedro can play the camp position, I believe. Olmo is going out for Gabi. And maybe we can replace Yamal with Rafinha. And Fati will be playing from the left. Christensen to De Jong. Olmo. Where is my substitutions, man? Olmo tries to play forward. Yeah, and it's a handball. Our substitutions <laughs> will come in in the 89th minute. Who can take the free kicks for us? It is Robert Lewandowski. Maybe we can score from here. Lewandowski with a shot and Mamardashvili. Brilliant save. Lewandowski maybe he can score here. Nope, Mamardashvili. De Jong! And we got the winner on 91st minute. Our first game at Mestalia. Huge, huge goal from Frankie De Jong. Here you can see that was a mess for Valencia defense. Four or five players. Uh, I don't know what they were doing there. We did win our first game with Barcelona against Valencia at Mestalia. Pretty similar cutscenes to FC24 there. Anyways, we can move on to our next game. But before that, let's see what post-match interviews are all about. Frankie is happy and a question is about Frankie De Jong. We are going to encourage De Jong more. Next question is about Ronald Araujo and he's also happy and this time let's uh, humble Araujo. I don't know what is going to happen. He lost some happiness there. Again another question about De Jong. Let's now downplay De Jong's performance. He's getting happier and happier. And guys if you are excited about FC25 content subscribe to the channel to not miss any of it. Okay, the second game in the La Liga, we are facing Athletic Bilbao. Daniel Olmo to Rafinha. We have some kind of space here. Rafinha plays back to Lewandowski. A long shot and a beautiful goal from Robert Lewandowski. I didn't know that he got this kind of finish in his arsenal. What a finish from Robert Lewandowski. No, you're not going to trick us. La Liga does not have goal decision system. Williams, oh, that was a harsh tackle from Araujo. I think it's going to be a booking. Yes, it is. Yellow card already. Lewandowski, Oof. great tackle from Robert Lewandowski. Finds Rafinha. Can we double our lead? And goalkeeper with a save. Rafinha again. And another save from Unai Simon. Olmo, Rafinha again. One more chance. And he also misses this one as well. Third chance for Rafinha in the first half. And he missed them all. We didn't let Athletic to create any chances this game, but they do have Williams and started the second half aggressively. The first shot from Iñaki Williams and a save from Mark andre Ter Stegen. It's with Balde, Rafinha. And that was a harsh tackle from behind and it was not a foul. Okay, <laughs> I believe it was a foul. Okay, let's jump back to the game. Again, Rafinha to Balde. Cross to Lewandowski. Not a great header from Robert Lewandowski. Jose Lu plays to Sanchez and another save from Mark andre Ter Stegen. We are getting exposed by Athletic Bilbao. Rafinha to Fermin. Can he find Pablo Gavi here? One on one with the keeper. Come on, Gavi, you have a chance to double our lead. What is wrong with you, Pablo Gavi? No, it was the weakest shot of my life to Gavi. Can redeem himself Thank for you very much. Are you doing, Gavi. He lost the ball there one more time. Williams. Williams shoots and Williams equalizes in the 91st minute, the last minute of the game. What are you doing, Gavi? Are you still injured, man? But anyways, I think Athletic Bilbao deserved this point. They played way better in the second half. The next game is against Rayo Vallecano. And let's try something different here. And play highlights section here and check whether it is different from the one that we had in FC24. Petri with the ball, plays to De Jong, Lewandowski and that was it. 
Unexpectedly, referee has blown the whistle for the halftime, but right away we started the second half as a normal game instead of highlights play until we lost a ball. Credit dump from EA. I think we are one on one with the keeper. Let's convert it. Ferran Torres, you have chance here. Come on, Torres. Can you convert this one? Oh! And the second shot as well got blocked. That was not a good idea to play highlights. It feels identical to what we had in FC24. We are going to quick sim our fourth game of the season against Valladolid and see whether our team can win it. No, it's a draw. So we got one win and three draws in the league. Okay, let's check the standings. This is really a poor start from us. Hopefully we are not going to be sacked anytime soon. Because in the next episode, we are going to dive into Youth Academy in FC25. And boy, we got a couple of awesome additions like scouting by multiple positions, different roles and of course one of the best additions to Youth Academy ever, Youth Tournaments.